Okay, I'm a senior here. Okay, I'm supposed to go over some stuff with you about Glenbard North. No, too bad freshman. I am going to pass along my wisdom. Fine. First, let's talk about power school. Do you know what power school is? No. Do you want to know? Are you going to be like this the whole time? Yes. Okay. I've dealt with four years of Glenbard North Wi-Fi. I can deal with anything. Power school is our school's grading system. It's where you can find out how you did on a specific test, quiz, homework assignment but more importantly your overall grade. This is where report card grades are pulled from. What's the difference between power school and Schoology? Finally, I knew you would eventually be interested. You are too excited about power school. Are they paying you some sort of fee to advertise for them? I should ask. I do talk about power school a lot. Schoology is where your teachers will post resources and assignments, but they may also post things like discussions, quizzes or even tests. Schoology even has a grade section but don't get confused. This only shows you how you are doing on work that has been posted on Schoology. Your overall grade will have lots of work that is outside Schoology. If you want to know what your actual grade is in class, you need to look at. Are you serious? We just went over this. Power school. Oh my god, you are still here. Oh yeah, time to talk about 1 versus 5 in power school. I can tell you are super interested so I am going to jump right in. Teachers do not use letter grades here, but you can think of them like letter grades. A 5 is like A which is above a 90%. A 4 is anything between an 80 and 89%, a 3 is between 70 and 79, a 2 is between 60 and 69, a 1 is 59 or lower and that is considered failing. Yawn. So if you had 82% in class what grade would show up on your report card? Don't worry, it is a little confusing but you will get the hang of it. It just goes down by 10 every time 90, 80, 70, 60, it's not that. I just wasn't listening. Typical. Now I know how teachers feel. An 82 would show up as a 4. I bet you are wondering about missing assignments versus late assignments versus incomplete assignments. I am not. In power school, teachers can mark assignments late or incomplete or not submitted. There are special symbols in power school that teachers use and they look like flags in the grade book. There are lots of flags. Green flags. Red flags blue flags. Sometimes grades look a little purple. That is too many flags. I know. There are a lot of flags in power school. These flags give you a lot of information so it is important you know what the symbols mean. But if you ever forget there is a legend in power school that reminds you what each symbol means. Wow. That is actually really helpful. I am so glad you were here to tell me all of this. That's awesome. I am really glad to hear that. Did you really find it useful? No, I was just hoping that if I pretended to be excited you would stop talking about power school. I knew it. I am just kidding. What you said cleared a lot of things up. Thanks for passing along your wisdom. Do you have any last piece of advice? Yes, talk to your teachers. If you do not understand something about power school or schoology or your grade, they will explain it to you. As a freshman, a lot of things will be new for you. The teachers here understand this. You can look at a teacher's syllabus too. This has a lot of the information you may be wondering about. A lot of teachers have different policies so staying on top of power school to look at your grades can help a lot. 